Hey there. At Buddy, we've worked with quite a few healthcare organizations, providers, and med device companies for their website. And personally speaking, prior to founding Buddy, I worked for a large healthcare system for about nine years. So there's a lot of lessons learned we have about creating effective and aesthetically pleasing websites for healthcare and med device. So in this video, we're going to talk about some tips for creating an effective healthcare or med device website. So the first tip we want to provide and talk about is in healthcare, as you know, if you work in the space, something that's super important is inspiring trust and confidence. If you work with patients at all, you know, if people are looking for medical help, they're probably not their best and they want to be reassured and have confidence that if they're considering coming to your team, that you're going to take really good care of them. And just like if you went to a healthcare facility, you wouldn't want to see dirty floors, broken windows, things like that. So similarly, your website can provide a um, you know analogous first impression and you want that to be the best as well. So when it comes to the website for either a healthcare website, a site for providers or a med device website, things like keeping your website clean, professional, easy to navigate are of utmost importance. And also language wise, making sure that the way you're describing things are straightforward, you're not overly using jargon and helping use images to help people understand different procedures, anatomy, or how devices are used can be really important as well. And also, as you probably know, people look for reviews more and more nowadays. So if you can provide testimonials, reviews, things like that, as well as pictures of your team to put a face together with a name, those things are all incredibly helpful to help your potential customers, partners, or patients have trust and confidence in your team. Next up, let's talk about some of the nitty gritty details that you might want to keep in mind for your website. So of course, you know, for any website, mobile responsiveness is really important because a lot of your visitors are going to be not just viewing your website on a desktop, but also tablets, mobile phones, things of that nature as well. So responsiveness for any website, especially healthcare, is you know that's really important. Um, beyond that, though, some other considerations. Obviously, HIPAA is super important in the healthcare world. So having a structure for your website that's HIPAA compliant is super important. If you have any patient information, now a lot of times in, in healthcare situations, we use platforms like Epic or Cerner, for example, as a medical record. But for smaller practices that might not use that and just need a HIPAA compliant database for a uh, smaller practice or different purposes. Fortunately, there's a, a growing number of kind of off the shelf uh, HIPAA compliant platforms where for a reasonable monthly fee, you can actually leverage a uh, pre-existing HIPAA compliant database that you can customize for your own practice and use that and, and feel good about making sure that everything's uh, compliant security wise, uh, patient information's not getting to the wrong hands, that kind of thing. For medical devices, something else to think about, of course, from a regulatory standpoint is what claims you're making. Um, so when it comes to writing content for your website, of course, you want to make sure you're good to go and maybe had some regulatory approvals if there's a consultant or expert that you work with, just to make sure that anything you're claiming about your med device on your website is accurate, uh, backed with data, and is kind of good to go as far as um, you know, legality and regulations concerned. And then also, um, because of the FDA approval process, you want to make sure you're not selling your device before it's you know fully approved and whatnot. So things like um, not having uh, solicitations are important if you're not approved for those. But also in the meantime, doing things like keeping a blog on your website or maybe email newsletters to keep potential customers at least informed of your progress could be a good way to go. Again, if your regulatory experts approve that as well. So just some things to keep in mind to make sure all's on the up and up as far as privacy, security, uh, regulations, things like that, things we commonly see for med device and healthcare clients. If you're looking to create or refresh a website for healthcare, for a medical practice, for a med device, let us know. We're more than happy to be a resource for you, something we've done before and enjoy doing as well. So feel free to get in touch, uh, give us a call, shoot us an email, or visit our website at www.buddywdd.com. Thanks. Talk to you soon.